Hello everyone, this is NAI here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this photography logo in Affinity Vector Studio, formerly known as Affinity Designer. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. And then we go to View, Guides, and we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So first, we take the ellipse tool, we set the stroke to none, and we are going to set the fill to black. And then starting from the middle of the composition, and while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the one-to-one -one proportions, we go ahead and we create a circle of about this size. And then the next step, we are going to draw an hexagon in its middle, so we take the Polygon tool and we are going to set the number of sides to 6 to make it an hexagon. And we are going to set the fill color to a different color so that we can differentiate it from the circle. And then while holding Ctrl and Shift, we go ahead and we create an hexagon of about this size, so about one third of the circle. And then we take the Move tool We select both the circle and the hexagon, and we go here to the subtract operator to remove the hexagon from the circle. And the next step is going to be to create the divisions. So in order to create them, we take the pen tool, we select the shape first, and we take the pen tool. And first we add a node here on the inner edge of the shape. And then we hold shift to keep it on a straight line. And we add a second node right here, right outside of the shape. And then we take the move tool. We go here to move tool settings. And we check on enable transform origin. And we position the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And then we press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate, and we are going to set the number of copies to 5, as we are going to need 6 overall. And we set the rotation angle to 60 degrees, and we click on OK. So now we have all the dividing lines that we need. And we are going to go here to the Divide Operator to divide the shape along the lines. And then the last step is going to be to create the gap between the various shapes that we have. So in order to do that, we take the contour tool, we'll leave it as round, and we're going to decrease the radius. So I'll set it to minus two, and we'll click on enter. And as you can see, these create the gaps between the shapes that we have. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learn how to create a photography logo in Affinity Vector Studio. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.